Brace yourselves, cosmic enthusiasts. Get ready to embark on an interstellar journey as we unveil groundbreaking revelations that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the universe. In a jaw-dropping discovery, the James Webb Telescope has shattered the very fabric of our cosmological understanding, proving once and for all that it's too late to apologize. Hold on tight as we unravel the secrets hidden in the vastness of space and dive headfirst into a realm of cosmic wonders that will redefine the way you perceive the cosmos. Join us on this odyssey as we explore the celestial revelations that change the game and make you rethink the very essence of our existence. Get ready to have your cosmic worldview rocked. And remember, for an out of this world experience every week, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on Cosmic Discovery because the universe is waiting for you to join the cosmic conversation. Approaching the second anniversary since the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, we've witnessed a groundbreaking 20 months of scientific exploration that has reshaped our comprehension of the universe. Despite its transformative impact, the telescope is now presenting significant challenges to scientists as it uncovers discrepancies in our cosmological theories. The precise timeline of the initial formation of star clusters into the galaxies we observe today remains shrouded in uncertainty. Previously, cosmologists posited a gradual unfolding of this process within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. However, the revelations from the James Webb Telescope are prompting a reassessment of these long-held assumptions. Current theories propose that these early proto-galaxies reached adolescence one to two billion years into the universe's existence, evolving into dwarf galaxies that later merged and grew, eventually resembling galaxies like our own, the Milky Way. The period known as the Cosmic Dark Ages was conventionally considered a time when the universe was veiled in a fog of neutral hydrogen, trapping the light of the first stars and galaxies. According to the standard model, this cosmic fog persisted until one billion years post Big Bang, when the neutral hydrogen dissipated, allowing light to shine through once more. The conclusion of the Dark Ages marked the emergence of the first stars forming galaxies, gradually shaping the universe into its present state. These were the prevailing models, nearly universally accepted. Then came the James Webb Space Telescope. And suddenly we find ourselves grappling with a challenge that has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. The Webb's discovery of thousands of exceptionally bright early galaxies, some bearing a striking resemblance to our own, left astronomers astonished. This revelation has thrown into question their fundamental understanding of how the universe evolved. The perplexity arises from the fact that for galaxies to shine as brilliantly as ours, they would need to have expanded to enormous sizes in a much shorter time frame than traditionally assumed. Typically, the brightness of a galaxy correlates with its size, but these galaxies formed at the cosmic dawn, leaving insufficient time since the Big Bang for them to attain such massive proportions. The puzzle deepens as scientists grapple with the enigma of how these colossal galaxies assembled so swiftly and radiate brightness that, theoretically, defies their very existence. A phrase has emerged to encapsulate this cosmic conundrum, galaxies that are both too big and too soon. Their luminosity suggests a scale of stars comparable to the Milky Way, posing a profound challenge to our current understanding of the universe. However, these early galaxies managed to form much more quickly than ours did, presenting scientists with a puzzling situation that urged a re-evaluation of fundamental cosmological principles. Recognizing the need for a thorough investigation, a team of researchers turned to a supercomputer, acknowledging the complexity of the scenario as they sought to unravel the unusual radiance of these galaxies. Using a supercam computer, the researchers built a model of galaxy formation and conducted simulations that replicated the dynamic interaction of gas in the early universe. The simulations demonstrated how gas coalesced and transformed into stars, ultimately giving rise to galaxies. The researchers proposed a possible explanation, 
suggesting that stars in this early period experienced sudden, intense bursts of formation following extended periods of quiescence, termed bursty star formation. This process differs significantly from the steady rate of star birth observed in the present-day universe. The researchers argue that this unique mechanism could clarify the extraordinary brightness of the early universe. Consequently, the team inferred that the radiant galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope in the universe's early stages may result from these bursts of massive star formation, potentially contributing to their higher luminosity compared to expectations for that era. In simpler terms, the universe experienced a let there be light moment when Webb began its science operations in the summer of 2020, quickly revealing high redshift galaxies during its deep observations of the universe. These galaxies, observed when the universe was less than 400 million years old, appeared more luminous than what the standard model of cosmology predicts for that era. This challenged the standard model, which depicts galaxies starting small and growing hierarchically through mergers driven by filaments and halos of dark matter in the cosmic web. Drawing on simulation results, scientists now believe that a galactic system doesn't need to be extremely massive. If star formation occurs in bursts, it will emit flashes of light, explaining the presence of several very bright galaxies. Importantly, the results from the new simulations align with the hierarchical growth model of galaxies in the standard model of cosmology. However, the challenges with the standard model extend beyond this point, as the James Webb Telescope points towards major flaws in the models, particularly concerning extremely early galaxies. Bear in mind that our discussion revolves around the vast cosmic time scale. When a galaxy forms just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, it's akin to a near-instant occurrence. The Big Bang itself took place about 13.8 billion years ago, Initially, our model suggested that galaxies did not form within the first billion years. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized this understanding. Surprisingly, fully developed and massive galaxies have been discovered at the farthest reaches of the universe. Macy's Galaxy, the oldest one found by the telescope, existed when the universe was a mere 390 million years old, remarkably young in our cosmic timeline. Notably, Macy's galaxy is just one among many candidates identified by Webb, and further research may unveil galaxies that predated it. Next on the list, scientists have recently detected a collision between two massive objects in the early universe. Despite cosmologists previously thinking they had a solid theory regarding when and how galaxy collisions occurred in the early universe, the James Webb Telescope has once again posed a challenge. This time, it involves the collision of two massive galaxy clusters, resulting in the formation of an enormous galaxy cluster. These collisions occurred when the universe was only halfway through its age, which contradicts our cosmic model suggesting that such events are too early. The outcome, the El Gordo galaxy cluster, defies the conventional understanding of the Big Bang, where galaxies were thought to form first before combining to create larger galaxies and clusters over time. This raises a significant issue since the early appearance of entities like El Gordo challenges the expected timeline. The question arises of whether this early massive collision implies the necessity for a new model or adjustments to the existing one. Moving on to the third point, let's explore the presence of giant black holes near the birth of the universe. When the James Webb Space Telescope gazed at young galaxies, tiny red specks in the cosmic darkness, it uncovered a surprising phenomenon, many of them hosted cyclones at their centers. It revealed an unexpected population of celestial sources that scientists hadn't anticipated. The likely explanation for these tornado-ridden galaxies is the presence of massive black holes, each weighing millions of times more than our sun, stirring up gas clouds in a cosmic frenzy. These colossal black holes are considered the predecessors of the supermassive ones documented in the cosmic timeline, appearing unusually early. 
by scrutinizing these record-setting celestial youngsters recently discovered by the Webb Telescope, scientists hope to unravel the mysteries of the first gigantic black holes. Did they grow rapidly, or were they born enormous? These observations, however, pose a puzzle because astronomers initially expected the Webb Telescope to detect numerous smaller, voracious black holes. Instead, it revealed a multitude of hefty black holes that might challenge our existing theories about the birth of stars and galaxies. Moving on to the fourth revelation, the absence of heavy elements. The Webb Telescope not only unveiled extremely massive early galaxies, but also shattered preconceived notions. Astronomers used this powerful telescope to peer back 12 billion years, observing galaxies and the rules they adhered to throughout cosmic history. The most astonishing finding was that ancient galaxies produced fewer heavy elements than predicted based on our understanding of later formed galaxies. This disparity remained undiscovered because previous instruments lacked the power to analyze the chemical composition of galaxies dating back around 11 billion years. The James Webb Telescope, with its enhanced capabilities, allowed researchers to examine the cosmic landscape just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, revealing a break in the connection between star formation, mass, and chemistry. Looking ahead, the James Webb Telescope is anticipated to operate for a decade or two, promising to unravel intricate details about the universe's origins. It holds the potential to answer numerous lingering questions. What lies in store is a journey into the unknown, with the hope of shedding light on mysteries that currently elude us. Share your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe to Cosmos Discovery for more fascinating insights into the cosmos.